find the square root of 11 to find the square root by long division method for that first we should frame it in this way c that is 11 okay next now here we have 11 11 is not a perfect square so now we should find out 11 lies between which two perfect square numbers and the perfect square numbers are these that is 2 into 2 4 3 into 3 9 4 into 4 16 and so on these numbers are called perfect squares here we have 11 11 lies between these two numbers so we take the smaller number that is 9 9 is for 3 3 is 9 so 3 3 is 9 now you subtract 11 minus 9 is 2 and here we should add these two numbers and write so 3 plus 3 we get 6 ok next now here I have to write a number when I write a number here then this number will be smaller than this so to make this larger than this in normal division we used to put a dot and take 0 here also the same thing you put a dot and take two zeros while finding the square root you should take two zeros it's a rule here finding square root take two zeros okay now we have to write a number here condition is whatever number we write here here also we should write the same number and also when we multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller to this but not larger than this number okay so let us find the number here if we take 2 we should also multiply by 2 these two numbers should be same so 2 into 2 4 2 into 6 12 124 is far from 200 if we take 3 we should also multiply by 3 3 into 3 9 3 into 6 18 189 is close to this if we take 4 that will exceed 200 so we take 3 so 3 here 3 here here 189 now you subtract so here 1 9 10 10 minus 9 1 9 minus 8 1 1 minus 1 0 here we should add these two numbers and write 63 plus 3 is 66 that you write here okay now we have to write a number here when I write a number here then this number will be smaller than this we already have a decimal so you directly take two zeros okay while finding square root we take two zeros next here I have to write a number condition is whatever number we write here here also we should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but not larger than this so let us find the number here if we take 2 we should also multiply by 2 these two numbers should be same so 2 into 2 4 2 into 6 12 
सो टू वन टू सिक्स ट्वेल्व प्लस वन थर्टीन सो थर्टीन ट्वेंटी फोर इज एक्सीडिंग दिस सो डोंट टेक टू यू टेक वन सो सिक्स सिक्सटी वन इंटू वन इज सिक्स सिक्सटी वन इट सेल्फ नाव यू सब ट्रैक्ट सो हियर जीरो नाइन टेन टेन माइनस वन नाइन नाइन माइनस सिक्स थ्री Here zero, here ten. Ten minus six, four. Here we should add these two numbers and write here. Six sixty one plus one is six sixty two. Okay, now, now we should write a number here. When I write a number here, then this number will become smaller than this. So decimal is already there. So you directly take two zeros. while finding square root we should take two zeros remember that now i should write a number here condition is whatever number i write here here also i should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but not larger than this okay so let us find the number here if we take 4 6 6 2 we should also multiply by 4 these two numbers should be same so 4 into 4 16 6 1 4 to 8 plus 1 9 4 6 24 4 so 4 2 Four six twenty four plus two twenty six. We got around twenty six thousand. Here we have forty three thousand. So if we take seven six six two seven, you multiply by seven. Seven into seven forty nine nine four. Seven two is fourteen plus four eighteen. So eight one. Seven six forty two plus one forty three three four. Seven six forty two plus four forty six, so seven is exceeding. So we take six, six six two six into six, six into six thirty six six three, six into two twelve plus three fifteen five one, six into six thirty six plus one thirty seven, six into six thirty six plus three thirty nine. Yes, this is smaller than this. So we take the number six. So six here, six here, and here this number three nine seven five six. Now you subtract and it goes on. It is enough if we find up to three decimal places, and the square root of eleven is this one. That is three point three one six, and it goes on. So this is our answer. Am I clear?